Hello and welcome to this special Spring Equinox 2020 Energy Trends Transmission. I'm Daniel Rama Hoffman of DivineTransmissions.com. This is Toth with Sanat Kamara, the Arcturians, the Earth Star, and an expanded intergalactic council of light moving more to the forefront of this divine transmission. We are delighted to be communing with you on this day. Each now moment is a choice. All that there is exists in each and every now moment. Your capacity to choose is one of the largest currencies that you have on your earth star. Being one that is in a conscious and on a conscious path is also one who chooses to focus, chooses to focus, chooses to focus. And that as everything exists in each and every now moment and you have your capacity to choose what it is that you are focusing on and being and doing what we would invite your focus for these now moments if it's light for you is to focus your energy in the present now moment. We know that there is a lot that's happening on the global scale on your earth star. And from our perspective as well, that this is also happening. There's also a lot happening in the multiverse, in the galaxies. And to be taking a few moments to really be consolidating your energy. Do we know your attention is being pulled here and there and everywhere? And that you have this choice right now to bring yourself back to this present moment. So we would place on the altar this exercise with the solar ray and the solar ray is the now ray and inviting you to gently be tapping the middle finger on the thumb and just as it strikes as it taps just saying now now now, 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 now. And each time you're saying now and you feel in your body, the fingers touching, have a sense of your energy consolidating, your energy moving into a greater concentration. You're occupying your space. You're coming back even more fully into the presence of your body and into the presence of being a creator being in the now moment. Right now you're creating. Right now you're creating. Are you creating connection? Are you creating empowerment? Are you creating greater choice? Are you creating presence? Are you creating love? Or are you creating something else? And we mean this lovingly. We're here to remind you all that there is exists in each and every now moment and to be especially wholeheartedly willing to be choosing to be in 
the now moment as the most current version of you. Now, now. Everything has been leading up to this now moment. You have everything within you for this now moment. Now, now, now. And the more that you're occupying your space, the more that you are incarnate as your most divine and multidimensional self, then the more that also creates a vibrational energy signature. We know that there is much discussion and inspired action about being prepared, being prepared in this now moment, preparedness. And we would love to remind you of your vibrational preparedness. You have been preparing for this now moment for eons. And you are creating in this now moment what is what we speak about a lot, your legacy. You're creating in this now moment what is also being seeded, so to speak, 700 years from now. So we know that this one micro unit of what you call time, although we've been speaking about multidimensional space and the multidimensional space of being in your heart, yet this now moment of what you call time is a very, uh, a very like drop of water in the ocean and yet it's holographic what you are creating and choosing to focus on now expands and is a line of the wholeness it's a line of the wholeness so as there is this invitation, and you can continue tapping or you can relax your hands, as there is this invitation to come into the now moment and to be the most consolidated and current version of you, there is also what we would love to speak about, which is multidimensional abundance. And that multidimensional abundance is a recognition that abundance, as there is the Venus ray in the Council of Light book, we've spoken about the solar ray, there's the Venus ray of opulent bliss, that multidimensional abundance in unity consciousness is also that all that there is exists in each and every now moment and a recognition of your abundance being multidimensional. That your multidimensional abundance is connected to your connection to source, your joy, your health, your financial abundance, being resourced, time, energy, creativity, that in the old paradigm of separation consciousness and survival consciousness, and we know that this is kicked up right at the moment. And again, as you know from us, we are always inviting you to include everything into the wholeness, to not try to avoid uh, what is, yet to be with it and to include it. Yet to also recognize that this invitation to come into a greater connection to multidimensional abundance is what's on the table. 
one of the many things that's on the table. So in the old paradigm, there may have been this idea that you have a graph of, let's say, financial abundance, and you have a graph of time, and you have a graph of energy, uh, health, you have a graph of, of uh, purpose, community, love, creativity, all of those different aspects of being resourced. And that often what would happen in separation is one part of your graph would go up. Let's say you have an increase in finances and then a decrease in time would happen. Or you have an increase of love in your life and that there might be a decrease in uh, your, your work, your connection or your purpose. So this idea of trading one form of abundance for another is one that doesn't take into the full picture of all that there is exists in each and every moment, that there is this multidimensional abundance, and that now more than ever is an opportunity to choose what it is that you are also going to be utilizing with the additional abundance of perhaps time that you may have. And so this recognition, we're saying a few things right now. We're saying that there is a simultaneity of gifting and receiving and having. The breath is there, you inhale, you have the breath, you exhale the breath. You inhale, you have the breath, you exhale the breath. The whole time, the multidimensional abundance of breath exists. You exhale the breath, you give the breath, and yet the breath doesn't disappear. So that same recognition is that while there is this recalibration that's happening, perhaps your multidimensional abundance graph is shifting, and let's say you have been desiring to create your legacy work, what we often speak about. You've been desiring to create or bring forth a, a book, or a program, or uh, a contribution, or a new light technology, or a healing modality. And that in the past, there hadn't been the time to do it. And now, let's say the part of your graph has gone up, where you do have that time, where you may have more space, things may be slowing down, and that you can choose what it is that you're going to be utilizing that time for. And you can be choosing to be the most concentrated version of you in the present now moment and to be utilizing that time to be, if you choose, connecting with source, connecting with yourself, being the highest expression of who you be and to be amplifying your multi-dimensional abundance hologram. And that we know that there's a difference and we want to be very clear about this between stagnating your energy and consolidating your energy. Emotion is also energy in motion. So we're also speaking a little bit about how there is in the sympathetic nervous system, which is related to fight or flight or freeze, that there is this freeze energy that uh, may be being uh, am 
amplified in your system. And one of the ways that you can keep that flow going is to not stagnate, to not wait, to not freeze, yet to choose. Each now moment is a choice. You are a creator being. Multidimensional abundance exists. There is a recalibration that's unfolding. And notice what multidimensional abundance that you've been asking for is now present. Maybe you've been asking to have more time with your kids, or you've been asking to have more time to create, or you've been asking for more time to meditate, or you've been asking for more time to, uh, to move your body. And, and we're speaking about time, it's a unit of consciousness, yet that's also the same with any part of the graph. And to really be in the opulent bliss of the now moment, and to be also really utilizing the momentum that's available in this now moment, in this now moment. So we know that there may be aspects of this transmission that resonate with you now, and there may be aspects of this transmission that may resonate with you now, and there may be aspects of this transmission that may resonate with you now, because it's also a multidimensional transmission. And as always, we're placing this on the altar of the heart for you to pick up or not. So the last thing that we would share on the special spring equinox transmission is the invitation as much as possible to stay connected to yourself and to source. This is also a beautiful time to be building relationships with yourself, with your higher self, with nature, and with us, if you choose, with beings of light and light. We are here. We are partnering with you. We are available to be co-creating with you. So this is an example. Some of you may have been asking to deepen your direct connection with your guides, with ascended masters, with light beings, with divine consciousness, with higher states of consciousness. And that as there is this shift as well on the planet from being perhaps more outward to being more inward, then it also opens up space for connections that are always there. So the multidimensional abundance, uh, your unique multidimensional abundance, and it is abundant, your unique multidimensional abundance hologram is recalibrating. And also the multidimensional abundance uh, of, of community of belonging, of unity, is, is recalibrating. And we know that there's a different focus right now where it's more home-based, it's more with yourself and your immediate family. And then on the global scale, your communities uh, through the internet, and that what is often brought forward in terms of, of the old paradigm of relationships is that you have friends, you have a partner, you have kids, you have parents, you have family, and that doesn't, you have animals as Danielle's cat is coming in, uh, and asking to go outside, you have these certain relationships that are 
a very known. And we know that if you're tuning in here, then most likely you felt different your whole life. You felt, uh, you've known that you are a visionary or you are a pioneer, that you're here to lead a new wave of consciousness. And this is what's happening in this now moment. Yet there may still have been this part of you that was desiring to fit in or to be uh, fulfilled by what was uh, shared or envisioned as what abundant relationships are. And one thing that you may not have considered or wasn't considered in the mainstream was this recognition of having very vital and vibrant and dynamic relationships with the divine, with beings of light, with the energies in nature, earth and air and water and fire. There are so many nourishing available frequencies that you're also connecting to. So one of the things that Danielle models in a very forward-facing thing is that her divine partnership with me, Toth, and other light beings is a primary relationship in her life. It's, it's a thing. And we know that different mainstream perspectives on that and different times and different points of view are perhaps uh, of the opinion that that's not true or it's made up or whatever it is. Yet to partner from your very potent place on the earth star in physical connection with energy, all that there is is energy, and to be partnering as well with beings of light. So maybe this is the time to go deep into deepening your connection to source and deepening your connection to yourself as source, as a guide, that that guidance as well is coming from your higher self and to be deepening your connection with your light family, with the beings of light that are present because we also are very much engaged during this time and we are contributing and we are also always on the altar of the heart that there is this free will and conscious choice and so it is also a choice to partner with us to engage with us to to co-create with us to commune with us in the way that is unique to you and right for you. So there's a lot that we've shared here and first to connect to the solar ray, to call upon the solar ray, to remind yourself in this now moment that everything exists in each and every now moment. And that that also brings you into ma'at, into divine order, into right relationship with the now moment. To consolidate your energy, don't freeze. We invite you not to freeze or stagnate. Consolidate your energy, keep the energy in motion. To consciously choose your focus, to recognize that you're creating in each and every now moment, to look for what abundance has uh, amplified in your life in this now moment, and then choose to really be utilizing the momentum that comes from it. Connect to source, connect to building a deeper relationship to your guides at this time. So as we're completing, we would, Acknowledge as well 
your vibrational preparedness, that you are vibrationally prepared, that you have everything within you in this now moment, that also your vibration and your frequency and placing your attention on your vibration and your frequency in a very concrete, tangible, incarnate, in your body way is also a beautiful key at this time, at this time. For you're always a choice as to what vibrations and frequencies you are deepening into. So we are overjoyed to be with you. We are delighted for this deepening into your connection of being a creative being with multidimensional abundance. And we look forward to continuing our energy trends in the month of April, which is also the four month, and this is a four year. So in March, spring equinox, three month. So a lot of what got concretized and prepared for in 2019, the three year, is being invited to deepen into in this now moment. All is light and love, and we are all.